the Heisman Trophy. The name alone conjures up memories of heroes past. My Heisman was an underdog who made people believe. Of performances that stand the test of time. Playmaker, a game changer. Only the most outstanding of players will join the ranks of this elite fraternity. To be a Heisman Trophy winner, you're going to need more than luck. You must embody the characteristics displayed by those that came before you. He played the game with class. If you can heed their advice, defy the odds, and rise to the challenge, your name will forever be followed by the words Heisman Trophy winner. And the winner of the 2012 Heisman Trophy is... Boom Sniggles in your face. What's up everybody? To Fire here. Also, the co- actually the creator of JJ Center, bringing you Heisman Challenge, full detailed, everything you need to know about the Heisman mode before you buy the game, you've come to the right place. Now check this out. Day ...in the spread offense, and you would go like, wow. I mean, the yards are so easy. I always say it's even hard to judge if a back is good now because everything is so spread out. There's holes automatically there. I would not change it. I am so glad I came along when I did because I played against the eight and nine man fronts. And when you can run against them, you know you can play. If I were playing in the spread offense today, that would be very difficult because everything is just so wide open. Then when you're finally put in a situation where you're playing against eight, nine people in the box, can you execute? Can you play? I don't know if guys can. <laughs> Marcus Allen, you are the man. Folks, this is Marcus Allen, one of the greatest players that has ever played football. And folks, he gets no credit. He gets no love. Folks, he was a Heisman Trophy winner. I was just talking to my buddy at Leroy Selman's at the bar. We were hanging out for lunch and we were hanging out and we were watching some of Marcus Allen because he's the top 100 NFL players of all time. And folks, he is the man. Folks, he doesn't get no credit for nothing. Dude, the guy played on two NFL teams. He won the Heisman. Folks, that is why I've picked him. That is why he is so funny. As you remember the beginning of the video, that it was a little bit messy up but you actually get to play and I'm actually going to be playing him with the USC Trojans and I really wanted you to get a feel for the entire game so I'm going to do some gameplay I'm going to show you the end of the season so make sure you stay tuned and stuff I'm going to show you the intro of the game too this game is absolutely phenomenal if you have not bought NCAA 12 you better buy NCAA 13 because you are in for experience like no other Amazon selling it for $45 folks you can get it as cheap as $45 now here's the game intro Trojans. For USC, anything short of a big win would probably be considered a disappointment. This is one of those games where you look at the two teams coming out of the locker room and you just wonder how bad is this really going to get. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. Is boom sniggles in your FaceTime? Look how look at how cool he looks, man. Marcus Allen, they got the face down pat. Dude, this guy looks like a freaking monster when he comes into this game. Folks, he is like some serious size to him. Look at how big he looks. He looks like a monster compared to them. So I don't know, like I think that if you're gonna do a Heisman mode like this, you've got to look, make the guys look bigger. Now you can do a little pre-order bonus from GameStop and get Tebow, Mark Ingram, and Mark uh, 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 line art also and which is kind of cool and 
it's going to add some more flavor to the game. Now this, you're actually going to be surprised. In about like five minutes or so, this is going to be the gameplay. Uh, in five minutes or so, I'm going to show you the end of the gameplay. I'm going to show you what it's like with the rest of the season and stuff. And you're going to see that this may not potentially be one of the most amazing things that you've ever played. But it's definitely pretty awesome. It's a lot of fun here. As you can see, the game mode is really smooth. Uh, this is very similar to the Road to Glory mode. So I'm also going to be doing a video on Road to Glory here soon. But as you can see, I changed the play at the last second. I can also change the direction of the run, which is nice. But the only bad thing is, is the computer shows you right at the last second that it's changed. So you've got to be on your guard and really understand that if you chose to make it happen, the computer will let you make it happen. But there's Marcus Allen's first touchdown of the game. Uh, defense was absolutely horrible. Was not expecting the pitch at all, but that is fine. USC stands pretty awesome. My first game is uh, pretty rough. Uh, you know, a lot of rain, a lot of stuff going on. But as you can see, I forwarded through here. You can actually change the play up to 20 times during the game, which is really nice. I mean, 20 times is a lot of freaking... You can almost change almost every play you get. But as you can see, this was a decent play to run instead of going for a pass play, which is kind of neat. They actually do a little... Um, little options throughout the game you get like a lot of highlights they actually NCAA 13 actually saves your highlights automatically for you and look at Marcus Allen boom sniggles give me some blocks give me some blocks folks that was absolutely amazing I believe if you dive after you hit the end zone you're gonna get a spectacular um, kind of a mode like a like he's gonna do something kind of cool acrobatic type which is kind of cool but they do a little Heisman uh, legend watch or Heisman watch after you score a couple of touchdowns after you dominate a little bit which is kind of cool gives you some highlights uh, the gameplay is absolutely awesome folks this is actually very very similar to NCAA 12 but what they have done is they've added in a lot of different um, animations with catching uh, they've added the juke in um, they've added a um, you can fake throw to any player on the game like pump fake to any player that's a receiver Different things like that, the gameplay, you can actually pitch the ball while being tackled, uh, fake pitch and all that is still in there, but look at Marcus Allen, even a kick returner, he's going the distance, folks, making you look silly, and you are so happy, give me a big like, thumbs up for that freaking play, that was absolutely amazing, NCAA record, got tons of trophies that'll be waiting for me when I actually get this game, this is part of the early release program, which is cool, but go ahead, go ahead, kick me the ball again, kick, uh, yeah, you ain't gonna kick me the ball, I tried to take it from him, but I failed that little run there. I absolutely whiffed that block. But that's just the way the game is. This game is uh, probably the best NCAA game that they have ever created. Uh, look, I'm out running my blockers, but there's that guy's fast. Whoever that guy is, we're playing Hawaii Warriors. And uh, that guy's fast. He was fast the whole game. I just couldn't get on the outside of him. But as you can see, we're going outside again. Give me another TD. Dive. Oh, I missed it. But, um... Another option right here, I believe I changed the play again. See how this is working? This is really nice. Fourth quarter. I'm um, really feeling good. I got Road to Glory. I'm going to be playing a running back. You can actually take this Heisman mode, and you can actually play as a different um, – what the heck was I going to say? You can put any one of those players on any team in the college experience. Folks, I'm going to let you know the secret right now. You get one year. That's it. You're not going to get two years. You get one year to match his record. It's one year. That is the most difficult part of this whole thing. But you can play any one of these Hall of Famers on any team in the college experience. You can play on UCF, USF. You can play on Virginia Tech. You can put any one of these Heisman guys. Their default setting is the current team that they played on when they were in there. This is that situation. I got Barry Sanders on the UCF Knights. As you can see, Marcus Allen absolutely just What the heck just happened? in there that guy went to go block or something and he stopped <laughs> that was so cool but absolutely dominant record uh breaking records like crazy it's kind of cool that's just how dominant these guys are at heisman level which is really really nice um you can put any player at anywhere i'm actually going to try barry sanders at ucf i'm going to see how much fun that is but basically you can just your goal in heisman is to get as many yards and tds and try and match their record that's the point of the heisman mode that is the only point of it is try to reduplicate what they did trying to see if you can and then the nice Nice thing is you can do any of it on a different team which is really neat you know I kind of like that as you can see um, fans just love me 
You guys just love me. Make sure you favorite and like this video. Makes it really nice. Here is the example. They save the highlights for you, not just the pictures. They save, auto save the highlights. Stephen Cooper is actually the generated name for the USC uh, quarterback, which is kind of cool because I actually know Stephen Cooper played for the Chargers. He was from my hometown in Wareham, Massachusetts, and uh, he played all our sports, and he actually went to the University of Maine, and then he went to uh, play for the San Diego Chargers, played linebacker for a couple years, was a pretty solid player for them. But as you can see, the Heisman mode, here we are, week 14, a oh, week two. You can move up on the Heisman leaderboards, depending on how well you do. There's a Heisman score, which is really cool. The milestones, you can actually achieve a lot of milestones. They give you little coins, and there's actually, I'm going to actually show you what that looks like. But as you can see, week 14, we are falling really short of this Heisman award um, not looking good the Heisman watch is not looking good I'm third place to Stephen Cooper uh, man I just tell you what who's that guy who is the guy on KSU Kent State who's that quarterback I can't remember I know Barkley is the USC guy <sighs> I don't know but uh, Heisman score I think this is where I show you right here we go into this Heisman score and you actually get to see the leaderboards of all your people and friends who are doing it but look at you get all these different options right here strike the pose win the trophy you get i don't know it's kind of cool like the higher the score you get the more awesome you are in life which is kind of cool uh you got a leaderboards so that's basically what you're going for right there which is kind of cool i mean i don't mind that kind of stuff but we're having fun checking it out folks this is just a one year deal this is i i don't know why this saddens me I don't know why I'm upset about it. I really don't know. But we're going to simulate. Look, you can tell different leaders that are going to. You simulate through the bowl week and you find out if you've won the Heisman or not. And folks, we did not. Marcus Allen, you did not win the Heisman. It was all a fake, all a lie. Boom Sniggles in your face is going to win the Heisman. That is my running back, Road to Glory guy, which you'll be seeing playing sometime this weekend through my early access of... NCAA 13. Now let's check out this video really quick. My parents gave me Marcus Lamar Allen, right? Everybody knows him Marcus Allen. You win that award, you're Heisman Trophy winner Marcus Allen. You have, I mean, it, you're no longer just Marcus Allen. I mean, that's just sort of comes with the territory. I will always be a part of the fabric of football. How many people can say that? I don't care if and my records have been broken, I mean, they will be broken, but I'm going to Heisman Trophy winner forever. Yes, you are a Heisman Trophy. A lot of respect to Marcus Allen. A lot of the other Heisman people, a lot of respect to him, but they didn't really do anything in the NFL, and that's kind of sad. Uh, that's just the story. You know, do you think the Heisman winners, like, I you think there's so much pressure on them that they don't make it in the NFL sometimes? Or do you think that just some people just cannot play? Like, that's what they're trying to figure out with Tebow right now. You unlock videos as you go, one through five. Heisman Trophy. It's like one of those trophies that you could be the best of the best of the best when you play against a field of players that has, what, over 230 teams with, uh, you know, all 55 to 70 different players, all in different ranges. When you play in the NFL, folks, it, you're not just playing against your age group. You're playing against people who have been veterans for 15 years, who have been studying this game for generations folks when it comes to the nfl you have a whole different set of standards so i believe that there is a lot of respect that should be given to every heisman man i believe that marcus allen should have way more respect than he already does i believe that he should even have the same respect of like look at barry sanders he won the heisman too and they both did great in the nfl barry sanders is probably the greatest running back of all time that is going to be a lot of fun playing with him we may even post a video on that regardless a lot of respect to the Heisman thing. I love what NCAA 13 did here. It is fun. However, it is a one-year deal. But boom, sniggles in your face. We'll talk to you later. Peace.